I know where that scream you heard came from. Betty's gonna tell them about Sheridan. I gotta kill all three of them. Okay. Give me away and you're dead, old woman. You and the kids. Wait. What'll I do with three dead bodies? Getting out of hand. Even for me. That's it. I know how to keep Edna from exposing me. Hearing this ought to muzzle the old bag. Who just turned on that music? Someone else is in the house after all. Hearing this song seems to be working. So far, old Yella hasn't blabbed about me. But if she starts blabbing, I'll start stabbing all three of them are dead. Mrs. Wallace! Mrs. Wallace, sit down before you fall. Uh, yes, sit, please. Someplace nice and shady, okay? Okay, you rest, Mrs. Wallace, all right? And then you can tell me what's going on. You having another premonition? No. Um, actually, I'm seeing zebras. Zebras? Or rather, they're just stripes. Someone's future is filled with stripes. Be smart, old woman. Don't give me away. Or you and the kids will get it but good. Okay, Mrs. Wallace. You can tell me what you were going to say now. All right, who was screaming earlier and who turned on that music? It's okay, Mrs. Wallace. You don't have to be afraid. We're not going to let anybody hurt you. The scream that you heard before was... was precious. The orangutan who takes care of you? Yes. yes. You know, they, they say that, that good help is hard to find, you know? Well, precious. Oh, she is living proof of that. Besides her drinking, she is a shopaholic. She screamed when I tried to change the channel from Shop and Drop to Law and Order on NBC. You're kidding. No, no, I wish. I wish. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one who turned up the sound on that radio with that song on it. Good answer, old woman. <laughs> Why would Precious turn up the radio on that song? Some kind of animal protest. <laughs> Why would you go in there and shake that remote at Edna like you're mad at her? Don't ask me why. Just go do it. Go on. Now that the coast is clear. Was it this time? Mother, you're still up. Is everything all right, Mrs. Wallace? Yeah, why, why wouldn't it be? Well, Sheridan was kidnapped. Oh, no. We think a woman's responsible. A woman, you say? Anyway, I want to search the house from top to bottom and make sure whoever kidnapped Sheridan isn't hiding out here, okay? Well, why would a crazed kidnapper do something like that? Well, they might think that they're safe on account of my connection to Beth. You don't say. Hey, 
We've got to figure out a way to keep Sheridan quiet. How do you plan on doing that? Gee, I don't know. How are you going to do it? This was all your idea, remember? Yeah, it was, and I was going to soundproof the basement, but you insisted on kidnapping Sheridan too soon. Please don't be mad at me, Beth. You know I can't stand it when you're mad at me. Oh, brother. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, I'm just, I'm tense about the situation. That's all, all right? Now, um, I'm just going to go check on Sheridan. Okay, but don't let her see you. I won't. Louise, without my cell phone. Get rid of that man. Be quick about it. I wonder what Louise wants this time. I hope someone heard that. It came from the basement. What the hell is Sheridan doing? Louise is going to hear her. <laughs> 